Now, Beth, this is the Indianapolis Metropolitan Airport in Hamilton County and Fishers off of 96th Street. Joining us now live with an update is Sergeant Tom Weger, the public information officer for the Fishers Police Department. What have you been able to learn about how many people may have been on board that small plane when it crashed? Based on the information that I've received here recently, it does appear that the plane was occupied just one time by the pilot. I don't have any information regarding the pilot, uh, but uh, it does appear that it was just occupied one time. And, uh, Sergeant, if you can just update us again for people who just meant now may be joining us, what is the situation that you have here? Right, about 11.30 we responded uh, to a report of a plane down here at the uh, Metropolitan Airport here in Fishers just off of 96th Street. Uh, the police department and fire department responded. Uh, they did locate the plane. Uh, there was a small fire and they put the fire out. Uh, the investigation is obviously just getting started uh, and it is my understanding that the state police uh, and the FAA will be uh, the lead investigating agencies. Okay, and again, some of our call six sources are telling Rafael Sanchez a single engine plane on final approach. Again, fire was extinguished pretty quickly. And again, you're telling us at this point just the word of the pilot on board. That's correct, yes. But no word on any injuries or conditions. I do not have any specific information regarding that at this time. Okay, thank you so much, Sergeant, for updating us. Again, we will stay on top of this story and keep you updated here from Hamilton County. Reporting live in Fishers, Julie Persley, RTV6.